What's up guys, Matt here, back with another video. Alright, so you probably already know that auto clicker apps have been banned from the Apple App Store. But did you know that iOS already has the functionality built in to create your very own auto clicker? Check this out. Start race 150cc. So today guys, I'm gonna show you how to set up everything that you just saw on your own iOS device. Let's go. What's up guys? If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt. I'm a competitive Mario Kart Tour player and a mobile game enthusiast. For some, this game gets a really bad rap, but I absolutely love it and the community around it, especially now that the gacha elements are being removed with these pipe pulls being removed entirely from the game. It's pretty game changing. We're here in October 2022 and everything's about to change. So if you haven't checked out this game yet, make sure to check it out. But as much as I love racing, there is a huge amount of grind time required to, to clear everything out of the token shop and out of all of the resources that this game throws at you. Taking a day off or taking a holiday can be really hard and it means that you're leaving behind valuable resources for your account. So discovering this process has been absolutely game changing for me. It's given me time back in my day for what matters most, which for me is my family and spending time with them. So let's break this process down and show you how to collect coins, thousands of tokens, base points, and uh, player level so that you can spend time with your loved ones and doing what you love and take a night off while this game grinds out everything for you. Firstly, a disclaimer, this process does allow your phone to have control to click the screen, sometimes for hours on end and maybe even unattended. Uh, so that means that there are some risks. This can range from you know, accidentally spending some rubies or in-game currency all the way through to spending a real life currency. So make sure that you're thoroughly testing and monitoring this setup, especially when you first set it up. All right, with that out of the way, let's get started. First up, you're gonna to need to download this iOS shortcut template, which I've linked in the description down below. I'm gonna switch over to my shortcuts app right here. And I highly recommend that you set this up as a widget. This thing is a shortcut which plays a bunch of commands and you can start and stop the automation directly from here in the widget. All right, as you can see, this shortcut, it controls everything from turning the volume up and down to you know, launching an app to you know, repeating. Um, and herein lies the secret of how the shortcuts works. Essentially, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a shortcut up to trigger a voice command. Then we're gonna use the voice command to control the app by clicking the screen. So, uh, what we're going to do is if you come down here to where it says text, you can see I've got some text in here that says start race 1 50cc. We want to make sure it's something really clear that the phone can speak and the phone can hear and understand. Okay, so now that we've set up the shortcut, we're going to go ahead and switch over the settings. We're going to navigate all the way down to accessibility and then we're going to go to voice control. We're gonna switch that on shortly, but for now we'll leave it off. I'm gonna to go to Customize Commands, Custom, and I'm gonna create a new command. In here, we're gonna type in the phrase that the shortcut is playing. So we're gonna go Start Race 150CC. All right, then I'm gonna hit Action, and we're gonna go ahead and select Run Custom Gesture. What this does is it allows us to program in a custom gesture which includes multiple clicks. I think it's something like up to seven clicks per gesture. For now though, what we need to do is we're just gonna hit cancel and we're gonna get ready and figure out exactly what we wanna program within the game. All right guys, so here we are in the game and here's the part that takes a little bit of trial and error to get it right. Don't worry, it only took me about 20 minutes the first time to set this up, but it does require a little bit of perseverance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out which race we wanna race on. So I'm gonna choose Bowser's Castle RT. So I've gone to the Daisy Cup here where it is the first race. Then I'm gonna go ahead and 
have a practice of the uh, where on the screen and you know what the timing is of programming the command. So the very first click is going to be somewhere there, then it's going to be there, there, there. I would recommend using a coin glider as well if you can. We're going to set the race to 50cc, which we only need to do now when we're setting it up. And then the next button that we would want to click is OK. Then we're waiting for the race to load, clicking once, and then waiting for the race to start. Once it's started, we're going to hit settings and bottom right corner camera. That is our timing guys, that is the gesture that we need to program. So I'm going to quit out and I'm going to practice that one more time. So. Right, going so far so good. Tap once. Wait and then tap, tap. All right, might seem a bit crazy guys, but we will absolutely get there. Here we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch over and we're gonna go run custom gesture. So now we need to replicate exactly what we just did in this app without being able to see the game. So it's a little bit of a challenge, definitely a little bit of trial and error, but you can absolutely do it. So once you start tapping, it's gonna start recording your gestures. So here we go. I'm gonna practice right now. See, I don't expect to get it right first time, but we'll, we'll practice makes perfect. So here we go. Hide controls, tap up here, camera, and I'm done. All right, controls will reappear, and I'm gonna hit save. All right, so that might have seemed pretty crazy. You might need to rewind that bit of the video and watch it a couple more times. But what I did do in that is I hit the hide controls button so that I could reach the top settings button and the video camera button. So once we've got that programmed in, we need to test this. So I'm gonna go back and make sure I hit the save button. There we go, save, back again, back again, and then under customize commands, under custom we should see, there we go, start race 150cc. Okay, let's go ahead and now test whether that's working or not. So, I've got the game on the right screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna launch this command. Here we go. Start race 150cc. All right, so sometimes it doesn't launch. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna stop that. Let's try that again. Start race 150cc. Okay guys, so you can see the taps, but there's an issue. What we can see is that the uh, we've aimed a little bit high, so it's not actually clicking the right things. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna swap back across. I'm gonna go to my widget here, or to the shortcuts app, and I'm gonna hit stop. And then what I need to do is switch back over to settings, and we need to reprogram this command. So I definitely aimed a little bit high. It looks like it's more at the same height so if I just hover my thumb here over the button, yeah, it's the same height for the start race button as it is for the driver cart and glider. So let's go ahead and try this again. So I'm gonna go back into the command, I'm gonna hit edit, action, run custom gesture, and it's gonna let me program it again. So here we go.
race is starting. Tap once in the middle of the screen. Then I'm going to hide the controls, settings, camera. All right, I'm done. Wait for the controls to come back and then stop. Stop and save. All right, with that out of the way, we're gonna go back and set up one more command for when we finish the race. So I'm switched back over here to voice control, gonna customize commands, custom, and then we're gonna create a new command again. This one, we're gonna call it uh, finish race 50 CC. And under action, we're gonna run custom gesture. All right, so at the end of the race, what we need to do is we need to tap the setting of the, the camera button down the bottom to turn off camera mode. Then we need to wait for maybe about three, three or so seconds, tap the middle of the screen, and then we need to tap through to finish the race. But we need the exact right amount of taps, which I believe is four taps. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. So I'm gonna hide controls and I'm gonna tap the camera button. Then I'm going to tap the middle of the screen one time. Then we're going to hide controls again. I'm going to tap the bottom two times, three times, four times. All right, so that should take us back to the main screen. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that once the controls come back. There we go, and I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go back and hit save again. And now we have finish race 50cc. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and check the whole command, make sure it's running from start to finish, including that ending finish command. So I'm gonna run the command here. Let's see what happens. Start race 150cc. Alright, so far so good guys. So it looks like it's working. We need to wait until the end of the race to see if the finish command works too. So let's skip ahead to that right now. Finish camera mode. Alright guys, so we're at the end of the race. Let's see what's going to happen and see if this worked. Race 150cc. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. But before we finish, here are some tips to help you get the most out of this process and out of this setup. First up, you want to make sure you test it until it's working when you first launch the shortcut. So for example, if you've got the silent switch on your phone, you want to make sure that that is switched to the non-silent position before you get started. Sometimes the timing isn't quite right, uh, maybe you started from the wrong screen or maybe your phone is lagging or something like that. So you need to make sure it is working and it's actually clicking the buttons at the right time. Which screen you're starting on is really important, so in my game it's starting from the main screen uh, where all the races are and I'm on the right cup and everything like that. Background noise is a massive pain when it comes to <laughs> doing this process well. So you wanna make sure it's in a quiet room, preferably with a great network connection, uh, no distractions, no noises, and it can be turned up nice and loud. Having a spare phone or a separate phone is extremely helpful for this process. I'm lucky enough to have two phones so I can use this with my phone in another room while my main phone is with me uh, the whole time. 
You want to plug in your phone to make sure you maximize the battery power and also uh, limit the display going to sleep and things like that. Uh, also, it's important to note that this does generate a bit of heat with your display on, so turning the brightness down is a good starter. And also make sure you put it on a hard surface, not on any material, a couch or a bed or anything like that, to ensure that the heat is going away from the phone. Some tips for Mario Kart Tour players. Firstly, every new tour is going to have new courses and what that means is uh, where you want to race or which race or which cup you want to use is going to differ each time, which means the timing is going to change. So you're going to need to go into that shortcut and adjust that timing until it's just quite right the first few times. But once you've set it up for the tour, you're pretty much good to go and that should be the only thing that you need to adjust from tour to tour. Secondly, for Mario Kart Tour players, every new tour means there's new challenge cards, new rewards, and what that means is when you first start launching this shortcut, it's going to start opening those challenge cards. When that happens, it's going to obviously ruin the shortcut and it's not going to work. So I'd recommend clearing all those challenges before you start using this automation. And what I'd recommend is that you spend the first maybe two, three, four days uh, focusing on completing those challenge cards and then after that start using the command all right guys that's it thank you so much for watching this video if you're a mario kart tour player out there make sure you check us out on the discord we love uh, chatting about game strategy we love talking and having fun over there so your invitation is right here check it out in the link in the description below for the non mario kart tour players out there firstly try out this game it's really cool but if you're not playing this game, I would love to hear from you. Did you find this useful in the comments down below? How did you apply this technique in your own mobile gaming or app world? That's been it guys. Thumbs if you like it, subs if you loved it. Take care and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.